guys hi guys I hope you all are doing good and um, it's raining it's foggy here but um, I want to say something in regards to what Instant Blog posted and what's on my page so I'm gonna address that with you all you know first and foremost our people especially Nigerian men are quick to talk about respect but they are the least to give their wives and their daughters and their women respect. I don't know where we all got a doctrine that respect is always accorded to a man or whatever. No, you, you don't get respect. You earn respect. And respect is a two-way stream. You respect me, I respect you. I know most of you are shocked that I said Pastor Bamilohi, I used to think that man has something upstairs. I'm reading the nonsensical thing he wrote that I saw under the phrases um, page. Yes, I, I stick the my words. I used to think that man has something upstairs. Just like most of you, I grew up watching that man. I enjoyed his ministration. His, his production left an imprint and an impact on most of us. And what gave most of us joy was to see his wife, a beautiful woman, stand by him, was a part of his ministry, and they walked hand in hand. To see him reduce feminism to, to either be married or single, or who is going to be the head of a household, is nauseating for someone like me, who had held him this high as a child. What makes you think that any sane woman who want to claim the head of household in her home, such a woman must be sick and need help. No. Every woman by nature knows her place in a home as the helpmate. But when we are quick to demand or make such demands of women to respect, to be submissive, how many Nigerian men stick to the part of the scriptures where the Bible said, Men, love thy wife as the church loves you. We're quick to say women be submissive. How many Nigerian men today love their, wear, their wives like the Bible said or instructed them to? Yet all the preachings we see from these so-called men of God is always about women and how to subjugate women. I have never seen any of them preach, men, love your wife, respect your wife, treat your wife right. Your wife is your helpmate. You provide a woman, a woman raises a family. A man provides for the family. It's a partnership that should be built on mutual respect and love. Let me tell you something. I have never seen any woman that is loved right, the right way by a man that does not willingly throw herself at the feet of her husband. We come from a very repressive culture. We want women to always do. But how often do we demand our men to do right by their women? I have never seen any woman that is loved the right way that we not willingly submit herself submission the bible says submit it didn't say by force it didn't say a man must get it the bible instructed the man first love thy wife and women submit to your husband let me tell you feminism or not i don't think any woman that is loved rightly or the right way will not submit to a man we come from a culture that men or see women as a property and not something to nurture, to love, to respect, to protect, to defend. Majority of Nigerian women grew up, or men, grew up in a very abusive homes. Yet, we see our mothers submit. But today, women are beginning to say no. It's a partnership. My right hand will wash my left hand and my left hand will wash my right hand. Together we build this home together. How many of you men love your wives the right way as God has instructed you? Let me tell you our problem in Nigeria. Our leadership or the kind of people we have 
as leaders is as a result of what we the people have allowed to foster because most of us have been brought or raised in this religious brainwashing that only men can hold place of authority I have just outlined so many women in the Bible Esther the Queen Sarah Naomi Ruth Judith these are women even Christ in the company of Christ was Mary Madeline was Mary the sister was Martha Christ never reduced them to as women who should be subjected to him they sat with Christ for God's sake what kind of teachings are these so-called pastors putting in the society the fragile male masculinity let me tell you I know of so many wise men whose wives hold highest position greater than them but yet those women cannot take any decision without consulting with them because the man knows how to love his wife respects his wife even though the wife holds a higher place of authority in society when you know how to love a woman any wise woman before making any position will come back and say honey you know my office wants me to do this what do you think i know so many men who accord their wives that level of respect and I have seen so women so many women in place of authority that will bow at their husband's feet because their husband loves them right and treats them right all our pastors are spewing from the pulpit and lies from the pit of hell and we have a society that thinks we shouldn't question some of these teachings and doctrine for what He's a man of God doesn't mean he's a supernatural being. No. Even Christ's teaching was questioned by the Pharisees and the Sadducees. It is because of our lack of empowering women, our children, our daughters. That is why we live in a society where women are reduced to kayamata. Women don't know their potentials. Women don't know their rights. When you treat a child, your daughter, the way you treat your son, your daughter will learn how to respect that son and that son will learn to respect that daughter. But we all want to thrive in a society that said the burden of proof falls on the women. Screw you all. I don't belong, believe in that thought process. I love my brothers and have seen my mother submit to my father and I know how my father has treated my mother. Suffice to say that today in Nigeria, most women are breadwinners of their home, of their family. They are providing because, maybe because of situation, their husband cannot support. Those women do it with all grace, with all humility, and they still love their husband. To have that pastor say, if you're single, don't join them. If you're married, don't join them. Women want to claim the head of the family. That is the life from the pit of hell. Start questioning the kind of preachings your pastors put out there on the pupit. That is why we have broken society. My marriage today did not end because I wanted to be the head in my family. No, the man that married me holds that place. And if most of you remember when I had issues with Kemi Omololu, I used the word to refer to my ex-husband. He's the king of that castle and I am the queen of his castle. I was. Why are we so quick to reduce women to commodity? Why are fathers allowing their daughters to be reduced to an object of marriage? Let me tell you something. Dear Nigerian women, marriage is not an achievement. Marriage is a sacred union. It's a blessing. Most today want to be married just to be married and they remain enslaved in pain, in bitterness, in anger. As a result, when they bust, they kill their men. You would rather walk away in peace and keep your peace with the so-called ex. It's not a do or die affair. There are so many people in the Bible. Marriage is not for everybody. To those whom God has given the grace, enjoy it. Be respectful. Why will we keep allowing all these pastors to deceive us? To reduce our women, our daughters? Would you not be proud as a father that if your daughter and your son does the same kind of job, they deserve equal pay? Would you not be proud that you see your daughter excel? I once sat in a company of so-called Nigerian politicians and I heard them tell me because a woman won the governorship of a northern state, she cannot allow to be the governor because she's a woman. Are you kidding me? And to hear a man of God reduce feminism, which simply means 
If I do the same job as you, give me the equal pay. Don't deny me the right to vote. Don't deny me the right to advocate for myself and for my well-being. To reduce that to be marriage and head of household. All of them are decreased. So I swear to God, something is wrong with that society. It's high time we begin to listen to the sound teaching. Go and start reading your Bible or yourself and stop worshipping this man of God that is leading, that are leading so many of us astray. If your daughter is smarter than your, your son, support your daughter, equally support your son. If your daughter is achieving height, don't hold her back because you think your son should be the one. No! If your daughter excel, what makes you think she will not carry her brother around? I will repeat myself. Any woman who wants to claim the head of household is a sick woman. But any man that will reduce his wife as a commodity and a problem is equally a madman. Enough of this nonsense. Enough of it. And the next thing they say, you insult a man of God because you, you have the audacity to question some of the crazy teachings they spew out there. You think he's insulted. No, 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 no. My father raised me to question everything. Trust but verify. Ask questions. Question certain things you hear this man say for your own posterity. That is why our women are reduced to domestic violence. You don't want them to work, so you control them financially. And even when they work and support their home, you build and you abuse them. You're always quick to demand love and respect from women. Do you respect your wives? I don't see any woman that is loved rightly that will not be submissive. You ask for submission as if it's in the code of canon law. No, it is not. Christ left an instruction for both. You're always quick to preach the women because we live in a very, very repressive culture where women are reduced to property. No, as you're empowering your son, empower your daughter. As you're empowering your daughter, empower your son. And the world will be a better place. So like I said again, I used to think Pastor Bamiloye, watching him as a child, had so much wisdom. But I'm stunned seeing the kind of things he's spewing out there. And some of you question why we question or have the audacity to question or counter his narrative and find it insulting. No! The pulpit is a powerful place where most of them spread, you know, spread or spew their false prophecies. Question it. You're here, most of you are here defending. Go and daddy a pastor, but you cannot daddy your husband. Go and read your Bible yourself and pray to God yourself. Pastors have rendered so many families useless because of teachings like this. If your husband and your wife holds a higher position than you, love your wife and watch that woman fall on your knees to worship you, to honor you. And to my dear sisters, you will be a mad woman to go and be contesting head of family with your husband, even though you're the breadwinner. Situation changes. Most of us now are becoming more educated and supporting our family. Doesn't make us, you know, the head of the household. But I will say to people who are quick to talk about the head, the head cannot stand without this neck. Your wife is your neck that supports you. Honor her. Respect her. Treat her well. If she tells you I am hot or I want, support her. You cannot love a woman the right way and not watch that woman honor you and respect you as the church did you. It's a two-way street. So if you think me questioning Pastor Debo, you're asking, I, I thought he had something else. Is it so? So I say again, Pastor Bamiloye, most of us grew up watching him and we thought he was an intelligent man as we all saw him. It's high time most of them begin to read further than what they think is an indoctrination. You cannot know God. You cannot be more Christian than the white man that brought you Christianity. And that is our problem. Oh. When people question how people get their wealth all overnight because they are local government chairman, you say you are jealous because they are prospering. The days of you beating a woman and expect her to open her leg for you at night because the Bible said a woman must submit. You treat your woman right and your woman will give you that respect. Raise your daughters right and your daughters will respect you.
is a two-way stream. I hope Pastor Bamiloye knows that the kind of relationship he has shared with his wife is feminism because that woman was an advocate. That woman used her voice through that ministry to speak to most of us. And I hope his daughters are treated well and equally because his daughters deserve that voice. His daughter is not just a woman who is only open her leg. That woman built that home. If that man loves her right, his daughter will excel. What you give is the full measure of what you get. It's a two-way stream. Our mumu don't do, our stupidity. Are, and I see all these women saying you don't. That is why most of you have been reduced to Kayamata. You want to question me? I was raised right. I saw my mother honor my father. And I did same for the man that I was married to never a problem but yet they allowed me to become who I am to question things to speak truth to power most of you don't understand the word speaking truth to power disagreeing with those you see in place of authority let me tell you what is Donald Trump it exposed how crazy most of your pastors the kind of theology they preach they go to a school or Bible school for one year they come a pastor prophetess with shallow thinking of what the scripture is most of you even know the Bible better than them. Una de grace. Una de grace. Question even the authorities. Question them. And you will learn. If most of you love him, start telling him, Baba, or prophecy, or whatever. Feminism has nothing to do with being submissive in a marriage. And when you demand submission as a man, I hope you're equally giving that measure of love to your wife like the Bible asks you. I want this pastors to start preaching so that our men can be better a man beats his wife a governor asks the wife to go and fix his home did not address the man's infidelity cheating on his wife a man will come and say i am married to my wife yet you have more than 15 prostitutes and concubines yet you want that woman to willingly submit to you you they mad if you love that woman well like the church said that woman will love you right back what you give is what you get. So don't come on my page and say, you know, I am not your fellow Nollywood bullshit people you talk to. Don't come bring your stupidity to my page. I will shred you because your brain, Oriye, Okole, Oti, daughter, O Lokolo, when you have your own daughter, reduce her to Kayamata. That is why all of you will go. You will go and be praising a 20 or 18 year old man, girl, that married her grandfather because of money everybody equally if you treat me right i will treat you right let me tell you you don't get respect or you earn respect you know masculine society i'm the man man that cannot put food on the table man that does not respect his wife and you want respect all of you will go Stop preaching about Nigerian men treating their wives well, treating their women with respect, treating their mother with respect, treating their daughters with respect as the church orders them to. Do not expect a woman to be submissive to you. And even those who go extra mind to be submissive, you abuse them, you beat them, and you demand rest what you get. So get off my page. I said what I said. I used to think Pastor Bamilo, you have something up here. Apparently, the older I become, we see that most of these people we respect or venerate have not been obsessed. And I pray God give all of you wisdom.